Hey everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell, and uh, yesterday I posted my unboxing video for the Nikon D500, and uh, some of you guys on YouTube were very quick to point out that I goofed up a few things and there were some questions, so I want to address those. Um, I was incorrect when I said that the, the D500 was 20.1 megapixels, I really meant it was 20.9 megapixels, so almost 21 megapixels. Um, I also had sort of a low-end estimate for the battery life, uh, I think I said several hundred shots. Of course, that was a, a wild guess. Um, I went out yesterday and shot with the camera. Um, I managed to get almost 600 shots on a little over half a battery charge. So I think, reasonably speaking, with a fully charged ENEL15 battery, and if you're not doing a lot of VR or uh, lens use or um, a lot of live view work, um, then you're going to be just fine. You'll be able to easily get uh, close to a thousand shots, if not more out of the battery and the D500. Now there were some questions um, about frame rate and, and video, um, excuse me, memory cards. And so that's something that uh, I wanted to, uh, to address. Because I shot a burst yesterday in the field with using a QXD, or excuse me, I never get this right, XQD cards, uh, of which there are now uh, two flavors, and I have those here, as well as the traditional SD card. So let's go ahead and do a, a D500 frame rate buffer test, and I'll start with the the uh, SD card. So this is a SanDisk 32 gig uh, Extreme Pro card. It's rated at 95 megabytes per second transfer rate, although that's usually a bit of a stretch. So let's just see how it does. I'll put that in here, and I will format the camera. Okay, so I'm just going to continuously shoot in high speed advance. I'm shooting uh, the lossless compressed NEF. That's how I shoot, so raw files. Uh, with JPEGs, you're going to get a, a much uh, faster, uh, you know, bigger buffer. So let's fire away. Here we go. Okay, so it started slowing down. Um, after, let's get that buffer clear, and I'll see how many shots we got on here. So, I got about, well, I took 36 pictures, but it had started slowing down. So, about, about 33 shots before the buffer started noticeably uh, slowing down, and we'll see how that goes again. Let's try this again. Okay, so... After the buffer starts to fill, I can shoot approximately, uh, you know, one or two frames a second after that. So you get about 30, 30, 35 shots with an SD card rated at this particular speed. So again, this is a, a class 10, 95 megabyte per second uh, Extreme Pro SanDisk card. Let's try it again with the uh, XQD cards. Now I've got two XQD cards. This one is a Lexar. Uh, 1400X. This is a first generation XQD spec and it's rated at 210 megabytes per second. So let's see how it does. Format the card here. Alright. And let's see how we do. Okay. So on this card Let's take a look. It started slowing down on my buffer. I got about 35 shots until the buffer slowed down. So that's pretty comparable. So I had uh, 35 shots full, 10 frames per second, and then two shots were at the slower rate. Finally, I have a Sony XQD G series card. Now this card is rated at 400 megabytes per second. This is the new second generation, if you will, uh, XQD card. I'll put this in here. Format. And let's fire away. Shooting. Okay. 
Okay. That was a lot of shots and it eventually filled the buffer and it stopped shooting. Let's see what we got here. 200. So I got 200, 200 shots, 200 out of 200. So I got about 199 shots, 200 shots before it stopped. So in my world, I don't shoot bursts more than five to, to six frames most of the time. A few exceptions, birds in flight, things like that. So there you got it. You got three different cards, okay? The difference in these cards is not only their buffer clearing rate, but also how fast they're able to download. So even though the first generation XQD and the SD card were pretty similar in terms of the buffer, you're going to be able to get your images downloaded to your computer faster with this XQD card, especially if you use a USB 3 card reader uh, and a USB 3 uh, compatible computer. Um, with the second generation or G-type uh, XQD card, the, this is the Sony one, I believe Lexar makes one as well, um, you're going to get 200 shots easily you know, who, who's ever going to go there? I mean, I certainly am not. Remember, you'll get more shots if you're shooting in JPEG. Uh, raw files are about, about 25 megabytes, 20, 20, 28 megabytes a piece. So this works great. You can use it. Um, this is going to download to your computer even faster. So that's uh, my little uh, commentary on uh, feedback on the Nikon D500 with respect to frame rate and buffer. Check out all my reviews, and you can download sample RAW files from the D500 at my website, luminescentphoto.com. Thanks a bunch.